people, Miss Strickland here, and we are about to get started with our Wednesday cardio video. We are going to get that heart rate up and get you moving. You just need a clear space at home. This can be done inside, and come on and we'll get started. All right, people, now that you've found an open space, you don't need a mat. I have one because one of the exercises we're going to do is going to be on the ground, or a couple of them, so I have that just in case. If you're at home, you can work out without shoes. I have on my rain boots because it was raining today, so I need to get ready really quick for our workout. That's much better. I forgot to tell you that we're gonna be using something called an interval timer that I have right here on my phone. So we're going to be doing our exercises for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna have a 15 second break before we start again. We're gonna do one round of eight exercises, which will take about five minutes, and then we're gonna go back through and do it one more time for a nice 10 minute workout. So we are going to get started. Our first exercise that we have is just going to be our jumping jacks. Remember when we do jumping jacks, we go from an X to an I. If you need to modify, you can just step one foot out if you get tired doing your regular jumping jacks. But if you are able, you can continue with regular. Now when you hear the knocking noise on the timer, that means we have 10 seconds left. Alright, and now we have a 15 second break. During our break, you need to catch your breath. And our next exercise that we are going to be doing is our crab toe touches that we do in class. So remember with a crab toe touch, here we go. We're down on the ground, like a crab. We're touching our opposite arm to our opposite leg. Not only does this work on our balance and stability, it is a great exercise for your arms as well as your abs. Make sure that you are touching your opposite foot to your opposite hand here. If you need to, you can stay down on your bottom and reach, but if you're feeling a little bit stronger, we stay up. All right, 15 second break. Coming up next is going to be ski jumps. Now remember when we do ski jumps, our feet start together. It's almost like we're jump roping. I like to hold my hands there like I am, and then we're just jumping side to side. Little jumps, when we do jump, we wanna make sure that we're landing on our toes and not flat on our feet so it doesn't hurt our knees. Don't forget to breathe. This is getting your heart rate up, so you might get a little bit out of breath. All right, 15 second break. Next we have lunges. We're gonna do stationary lunges where we are. You can put your hands on your hips, out to the side or by your side. We just don't wanna put our hands on our legs. So when we're doing lunges, we step forward. We bend that front knee, that back knee almost touches the ground, but not completely. I'll do it from the side so you can see. And we are coming and stepping right back together. This is why this is called a stationary lunge, because we're not actually walking with it. 10 seconds. All right, now we have that 15 second break. Our next exercise is going to be knee hugs. This is a little bit of a break, a little bit of a stretch. So with knee hugs, we want to take one knee and bring it as close to our chest as we can. This will also work on our balance on our other leg. And it gives a nice stretch in your leg and your glute area that you just worked out with those lunges that we did. Your heart rate might still be a little high right now. That is okay because this is a cardio video. So our heart rate should be up. All right, 15 second break. Our next one is going to be trainer push-ups. Remember trainer push-ups, we go all the way down to the ground with our body and then lift our body back. All right, so we start in that plank position. Our bodies come all the way down to the ground with our chest on the floor and then we lift everything back up together. I will show you from the side of you for our trainer push-up, plank position, all the way down, and lift back up. We continue with that. 10 
seconds. All right, we have our 15 second break. You can stay down on the ground. For this one, we will be doing sit-ups. I have my mat here for that. With our sit-ups, feet flat, knees up. Arms can be behind your head or out in front of you. We're gonna roll all the way back and sit all the way up. If you cannot do the full sit-up, you can do crunches, which is coming up as far as you possibly can. But I want everybody to try to do full sit-ups during the short workout that we have today. 10 seconds. And rest. Last exercise in the circuit is going to be our inch arms. We go from standing, walk our hands out to a plank position, and back in. Here we go, and then down, walk our hands out to a plank, and back up together to standing. We did this yesterday in our yoga video. This is a side view out the plank, and back into standing. We continue to do as many as we can in that 30 seconds. And rest. All right, I'm gonna pause this really quickly because for our second round, I'm going to turn on my fitness app on my watch and we're gonna track how many calories we burn during this and then do a little bit of math at the end of the video to see how many calories we burned overall. I'm a little out of breath, but that's a good thing because it means my heart rate's up and I'm working. So, we have a little extra break here, 10 seconds, and we're gonna start this entire circuit back over and then you'll be finished with your cardio exercises for the day. Our first exercise is a jumping jack. Remember, modify if you can't do that or if you're a little tired, it's just stepping out. Almost there, 10 seconds. Side to side, jumping on our toes. And 15 second break. Up next we have our lunges. Remember, we step out and in, we switch legs, and we stay in the same spot. We always come back there for our stationary lunges. I prefer to put my hands on my hips. It helps me balance. We can hold them out for balance too. That's a big help. We just want to make sure that we do not put our hands on our legs. We never want to do that. That's hurting us more than it's helping us. We'll finish from the side. So we can see my legs make a right angle. Like we learned about in the back. That back knee doesn't quite touch the ground. And that front knee never comes to my side. 15 second break. Next up is a little 
little breather, a little stretch. It's those knee hugs again. We're gonna stand in one spot. Make sure we get a nice big stretch. Every time we bring these knees up for a knee hug. If you can only come this far, that's okay. If you can bring your knee a little farther, that's even better. We do not want to do this fast because it is a stretch. And a great time to catch your breath. 10 seconds left. give you some details in just a second about how many calories we burned during the second circuit and we'll do some math to figure out how many we burned during the entire workout see you in a sec hello and welcome back hope you are all feeling great after that workout I know that I am now we're gonna do a little bit of math to see how many calories we burned overall I'm gonna post a picture of my Apple watch right here it shows that we had a six minute and nine second workout we burned 47 active calories and 54 calories total. Now that was only in the second half. Wow, okay, had to flip that camera around because I forgot that if it's facing me, it's gonna be backwards. So we're gonna do a little bit of our math now to see how many calories we burned in our entire workout. So we had 47 calories in the second half and we did the same exercises, which means we most likely burned the same amount of calories in the first half. So we could take these numbers stack them on top of each other and add them together to see our total active calories that we burned. So seven plus seven is 14, four plus four is eight plus one is nine. Which means our total active calories would have been 94 for our entire workout. Now for our total calories overall, we burned 52. So to find our total, we could add 52 again or we could just multiply by two and that will give us the same kind of answer that we need. So we know that two times two is four and two times five is 10. So our total amount of calories that we burned was 104 calories in that workout. That is awesome. We burned that in 10 minutes. 
All right, now I got to turn around so I can actually see what I'm filming. But I hope you all had a great time doing this workout in home. Again, I apologize for my little messy office. I'll straighten up for my next video. And I will see you back tomorrow. Thursday is sport and skill. And we're going to be getting into a little bit of basketball. See y'all later. Bye.